Faith, the Unholy Trinity, Chapter 1. The goal of the game is to perform exorcisms, fight back against possessed cultists, and cleanse haunted objects. My goal of the game is to get through this entire playthrough without one jump scare. Let's see how that works. Is this us driving down the road here? Pulling over to the side of the road. And it just begins. It's already thick with atmosphere. That music hits so hard. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you can always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay, so if we hit the space button, we hold up our crucifix. Hitting escape gives us to a map. That's really cool. All right, let's continue in the forest. It's deer. No, no, deer. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Mortis. Mortis. Am I dead? I died within the first five seconds of the game? Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot to use the crucifix is what happened. Okay, round two. I know exactly what to do now with this demon. There's no, oh, the deer's gone. Did the map change? Did I get a really, no. Yes. Yes, be gone demon. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going north. When in doubt, just go north. Hey, there's a well. Can I, can I look into the well? Oh, oh, um, I, did I cleanse the well? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Go straight past the well. Okay, I'm at the well. Imagine living on a road called Snake Meadow Hill Road. Okay, let's keep going north because we're going past. Hey, look, the deer's back. Can I, can I, <laughs> can I use the... No, no, no. Oh no, did I redirect the demon to the deer? No, sorry, deer friend. Oh dear. Let's, let's follow the deer. Oh no, did I do this? Was this the deer? I'm cleansing it. I cleansed the, the pile of goop. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. My bad. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look over at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. I killed the deer. It was an accident. Hey, a cabin in the woods. This must be safe, right? The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off at Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seems to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. No way. Okay, so can I perform an exorcism on the house? Oh, I, I'm in the house. Uh, what was that? There was, there was totally something outside the window. Is this a trap? There's just a, a key sitting there. There's no way that this key isn't cursed. I'm grabbing the key. Okay, now what? Ah! Oh, nice try, demon. I've totally played horror games. I, I knew it was a trap. 
No, deer, 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 deer. No, I'm going to save the deer this time. I saved the deer. You're welcome, friend. Please remember me. Okay, so where do we go next? I'm in the cabin. We found the well. There's also a tree down the far left. Let's go to the tree. Uh, there's just a puddle of water. No, 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 no. See, be gone. Be gone. I'm, I'm already over you. Okay, cleansing the water. There's another note. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. <gasps> Can we get a rifle? Can we get Bob's rifle? I will, I will happily use Bob's rifle. I don't care if we're a priest or not. I'll shoot these demons. No. What did he say? I don't know what the demons say, per se. But it doesn't sound right. Also, is this blood? Is this... Do I, do I cleanse you? What do you mean chaos reigns? I, I'm... Cleanse the chaos! All right, let's... Let's go down here, I guess. Hey, there's that tree on the map. All right, we're going to cleanse this tree. Be cleansed, tree. You're welcome. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's a good thing that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. A bunch of Karens at the book club? Who would have thought? All right, well, let's let's go north. Let's go towards that big house in the map. This one up here. Don't mind me, dear. I'm just I'm simply passing by. I'm just walking on by. Ah! No, not a no. Okay, so there's a save point system. Fantastic, we're at the cabin. I think I need to go back down and cleanse the tree. So let's do that. You're welcome. All right, towards the big mansion looking house. So is this like a summoning circle? I just realized there's like stones in a, in a pentagram kind of shape. I don't think I caught that before. No, no. I used the thing. Oh, do I have to face him? Oh, maybe I have to face him. Like I, I, I just, like he was coming from my right. And I just looked up and I should have went to the right and did this. Got it. Okay. So it's directional. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. What, what was that? I saw a little purple guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, somebody was coming up here from the well. Who was it? There's are those ch children? Are they demons? Should I cleanse them? It, they look like they, they're running like toddlers. Um, Don't mind me. I'm just running after children in the woods. Not creepy at all. Okay, they went into the big mansion. Let's go in here. This feels cursed instantly. What is this portrait? Uh, that's a little purple kid I saw over there. Let's read the note. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greet us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Okay, so the Martin's kids are possessed. There is a boy and a girl, it seems. Wow, okay. This bed is massive. In relation to the size of my character, I could fit 20 of us in here. Hey, is, wait, is this a, a picture on a fridge? What is this? Oh, I cleanse the photo. What? 
It says Nate in the bottom right corner. So this must be the boy. Um, what is this shadow slender man looking thing? Kind of possessing what looks like a cultist, like a small child sized cultist. At least it's sunny. Let's go to the attic. Let's go upstairs. There's blood that goes to the door. This was a terrible choice. Um, there's a few other doors. Let's let's avoid the blood for the for a second here. There's toys everywhere. Oh, what are these things? I remember those toys. An etch a sketch. This is like the the Simon Says memory game. This is like one of those, those lawnmower toys. Looks like like a rock'em sock'em robots. This is sweet. Lucky kids got all the sweet toys. What is this? This is this is a cursed doll. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Not anymore. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Okay, so the doll was definitely cursed. I mean, we're playing a horror game. If, if a doll isn't cursed in a horror game, is, is it really a horror game? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in at the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Wait, did they perform an exorcism by themselves? Did they survive? There's no way. There's no way. Uh, rubber ducky, are you also cursed? It is? No way, the rubber ducky was cursed? I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. It's not soon enough, is it? It's not soon enough. Okay, we can't use the crucifix on the toilet. I tried. I tried. Okay, I guess we have to go to the room with all the blood in it. Here we go. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I tried. And that's all that matters. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Is there any other rooms I didn't explore in the house? Oh, I was gonna say, maybe there's something I missed. No, there's literally a set of stairs right here to the basement, right? Is this, is this what I think it is? It is, no. Uh, I don't wanna be down here. No, thank you. Is this a mannequin bust? Of course there's a mannequin here. Get out of here, mannequins. Um, There's blood to the left, but I'd rather not. Okay, let's go up here. Um, some pools of water, a washer dryer. Are these also haunted and cursed? No. What is this? Is this a crib? What is what is this? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbabwa. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's a kind of mix of a Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. I think it's safe to say that Leighton didn't survive. Oh no. 
No! What are these? Is one of them going to come alive? Haunted sewing machine? No? Do I have to go through all these? No, I hate it. No, no, rather not. Okay, there's a note. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. No. What did Amy do? What did the demon do? It wasn't Amy, let's say. All right, let's check out this this summoning circle blood ritual. What is this? Um, um, um. What is this? Where am I? What is the, is this? Is this Amy? She is here. No. Um, 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 don't worry. I have a cross, a crucifix. Um, did I get transported to her bedroom? What do you mean she is here? Where? Where is here? Also, this house is massive. Wait, do I go in here yet? No. Um, um, um. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What? Did I do it? Did, did I? There's no way I performed an exorcism on, on Amy. Go back downstairs. Is she just chasing me around the house right now? Oh! oh, I think that was really close. I'm going to the basement. I'm going to the basement. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to the basement. She's following me. She's following me to the basement. I think I need to go. Oh, she's so fast. No. So Amy killed us. Let's do this again. Hello, Amy. The animations are so sweet. She is here. All right, let's go to the basement again. I think she wants to keep us out of the basement. All the toys. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nice try trying to follow us. Don't worry. I'm too fast. Look at these pixels go. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. No. Not today, Satan. She's so quick. Go, 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 go. Go, pixels. If I could just like deter her once successfully, we should be okay. So can I can I move this? Can I move? She's here. She's here. Nice try, Amy. Nice try. I got her. Nice. This is definitely where, like, I'm guessing Father Allred died, right? It kind of makes sense. Now, I never tried this back door in the kitchen. No! She won't even let me try the back door. That's what she said. She is here. Okay. Let's go back downstairs to the kitchen. Try the rear entrance. And see if that goes to like a different region that we haven't been to yet. Like maybe we're supposed to be here, right? Like she can have the cursed house. Nobody, nobody even lives here anymore. Everybody's dead, I think. No, no, no. Oh, that was close. Come on, go, 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 go. Run faster. It doesn't work. Oh, holy crap, that was close. Maybe, maybe you have to cleanse this photo, this family photo? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it worked. Maybe we had to cleanse her in the right room. And there's a door open upstairs. We all know which door it is. It's the door to the attic, let's go. No, no, you know what? Let's not go. 
no this is this is only bad things will have happened up here yep yep full of bad things molly the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me i want you to hear it from me first a year ago i was involved in the exorcism of amy martin what they said in the papers about what happened isn't true she blank my superior father blank with blank when i confronted her she blank blank managed to cut the power to the house and blanked her own parents blank blank with their own blanks i have to go back to that house the nightmares i'm having are real she's still there waiting for me i can still help her if i don't come back know that i love you and i'm sorry john oh no so much of it was like, redacted oh no okay th there's demons here there's definitely demons here amy we can talk about this my god what happened to you do you see my face is pretty no i mean I yes i have to finish what i started she died priest okay let's let's cleanse cleanse Is it working? What is that? Um, do I avoid it? Do I Do I avoid this thing? It looks like a shadow. Oh, it's coming after me. Hold on, hold on. Oh, crap. How 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 close do I have to I'm in the wrong direction. Oh, it's getting so close. Oh, his little hands. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, did I do it? Did I do it? Um. Oh. Ah! Mortis. No! No, 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 no. Okay, thank God for checkpoints. Here we go again. Which one? It's oh, no, not again. Mortis. So much death. As soon as she starts running at me, I'll dodge. There. Oh, oh, oh. And dodge, dodge. Oh, that's the plan. That's what we do. Get out of here. Dodge. Yes. Oh. Nice try, Amy. Or demon. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she's so fast, so fast. How many times do I have to do this? This is one. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hopefully only one more. Oh. Got lucky. Come on. Die demon. Or, I mean exercise? Come on, there we go. Still going. <gasps> oh, what? It's still going? Mortis. Okay, okay, evil demon. That's it's on. Okay. Good old hand coming out of the face. Get out of here. Oh. Okay, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge again. <gasps> oh, I forgot to dodge. Okay, hiding. Going in. Gain to position. Oh, baby. Nice, lots of distance. This is great. Moving. Oh, 
Oh, moving. Distance. No problem. That was close. Distance. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Where to next? Down here again? No, you're still moving. Oh, what the crap? Um. Oh, she was, she stood there for a while. Oh. Oh. Not the ring, not the ring, not the ring. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Uh. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait what? Uh, Amy? Are you dead? She went out the window. She went out the window. That took so long. I think I tried that somewhere between 50 and 100 times. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is, now what? I, I guess we just leave out the house? It probably should have taken me that long to do that segment. But it was, that was so tough. Okay, let's just leave the house. Let's go to this cursed place. I think, did we, I guess we didn't, it says kill her and there's a gun. <gasps> We're a priest with a gun all of a sudden. A gun with one bullet. Okay, Um. let's not waste it, I guess. What do I, I guess I use this on, on Amy. <laughs> Is she out here? So where, where is Amy? Do I still get to use my crucifix? I guess the answer is yes, you can still use a crucifix at the expense of shooting your gun. Okay. Thank goodness we reset and we have our gun with the one bullet. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you notes. Okay, so we're back in the woods. We got a gun with one bullet, one man, one demon. Hey, wait, wait, there's a there's a there's a tombstone here. But I can't use my crucifix. Oh no. Okay, there's an evil tree. Where's where's Amy? Where is Amy at? Is she gonna be like randomly in the woods? There's the well. How, how am I looping around? She didn't go to like the cabin or something, right? I love the music. a shadow person. Oh, they're scared of me with the gun as they should be. The cabin's all boarded up now. We can't go back inside. Let's follow the shadow person. Oh, it's Amy. Is this is this my moment? Amy, prepare to die. Um, and take this. <laughs> Did we win? Did I beat the game? What's that? Am I just gonna walk away? So we literally just shot her in the middle of the woods and then just waddled away. Maybe we just get into our car and leave. I mean, we could try that. Mission accomplished, right? We 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 shot the demon. Which, I didn't know that demons could be killed with, you know, human weapons, but whatever, that works. You know, I'm, I'm down. Or maybe, like, the demon was, like, weakened, and we killed the human form, perhaps? Don't know. We parked so far away. Okay. Back into the car we go. 
and we just drove off. Wait. <gasps> no. The police, the fuzz are on us. Game over. Ending one of five murderer? There's multiple endings. What? Oh no, there's so many endings. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he is impersonating a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Oh, that's sweet. So what other innings can we get? A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. So, I remember seeing the shadow person. I don't know who they were though. It's at the cabin. Did I try shooting them? Will that do anything? Or are they a ghost? No, let's go like right through them. Okay, there's our shadow man. What happens if I, for science purposes, what happens if I shoot you? <gasps> You're not a shadow person? Oh, okay, Um, we just killed a person. Yep, time to go, time to go. We killed a person. Uh-oh. Time to run. Don't mind me. What, what do we do with the gun, too, by the way? Do we just leave the evidence at the scene of the crime? Hey, there's a deer here. Can we shoot the deer? <laughs> we might be able to. Okay, there we go. Do we just leave? I will send a flower. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. What? There was something in the back seat. Ending two of five. Father and son? Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. So it turns out that we then became possessed. The demon took our body over. It was hiding in the back seat. That's crazy. All right, what else can we shoot? A gun with one bullet. All right. Let's take a little trip through the woods, shall we? Wait a minute. I've never seen this one before. What is this? Can I... Can I shoot this? Oh! Uh, apparently we can. Apparently we can shoot it. Okay, um... Does that do anything though? Did I waste a bullet? Uh... Time to just drive away. Go back to the car. Okay, let's just leave. 
We were never here, right? We were never here. Wait, what? This is different. Um. Ending 305, the offering? Are they pissed that we shot their offering? Whatever it was, the offering. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get together at the clinic Saturday night and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. Okay, now that we've gotten a couple endings, we have to get more. We have to get all of them. Okay, yep, gun with one bullet. Thank you. Thank you. So, what else can I shoot? Oh no, we have to shoot Bambi? Oh, I'm sorry, Bambi. Let's just, let's us leave. Right? Right? This was, was this, a, is this an ending maybe? Was I supposed to do that? You know what let's just go to our car maybe i don't know if we're supposed to do that or not but i let's let's leave no evidence let's get out of here i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i will trust i shall not be afraid of the terror We hit a deer and that was a whole bunch of deer in the woods with us. We're crawling back to our crucifix. Oh, the deers are pissed. I don't blame them. Game over. Ending 405, the hunter. Unidentified body discovered near rat car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. Not a deer? A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect that this was probably the work of a coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Okay, so that was probably not a good ending, right? What happens if we just leave? What happens if we don't kill her? Okay, there's our car. Let's just leave. Let's just go. I shot the I shot the demon. It's bleeding. Oh. oh. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. Over the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because
because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. A little self-reflection. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. So what happened with Amy in this ending? Ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. Right on! Police, animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here said a Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Well, that was Faith Chapter 1, and wow, what a wild ride that was. That was such a fun experience. I love the aesthetic, the pixel art. I love the demonic uh, animations. There was so much atmosphere and tension building and story building in such a simplistic package. I cannot wait to play Chapter 2 next. We also managed to get all five endings, which is so cool. They're all so unique and kind of crazy in their own regard. That's a lot of fun. If you guys want to see me play Chapter 2 next, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more spooky indie horror games like Faith Chapter 1. If you guys want more indie horror games, I'll link the playlist in the description below. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.